Social media has the power to turn everyone into a master marketer. That's the word from Mark Schaefer, who was just named one of Forbes magazine's top 50 social media power influencers. He writes about the power of social scoring in his new book, Return on Influence. But let me tell you the second line, though, Mark says, the revolutionary power of clout, social scoring, and influence marketing. So I got your book, and I thought, oh, it's going to be another dry business book. Where's my book to gouge my eyes out? And then I started reading the book. I took notes, and I thought, I need to do something about clout. I was blown away by your book. Oh, that's very, away. Kind, so con very Congratulations. Kind thank you, thank you. The, the bottom line is this, that you don't have to be George Clooney, Lady Gaga, Charlie Rose, Erica Hill to have clout. We can all have clout. We are really in the middle of a, of a business and communication revolution. Now that we have uh, high-speed internet and free, easy-to-use publishing tools like blogging and Facebook and Twitter, everybody can publish. Everybody can have influence. And companies now, like Clout, which is K-L-O-U-T, mm -hmm. are actually trying to measure that. They're trying to quantify how well people can create buzz. And as you can imagine, a lot of big companies and brands are, want to be all over we this. That, yeah. uh, they want to find these powerful word of mouth influencers and reward them and give them stuff. I mean, lots of great stuff like trips and gaming systems. With and the hope that they will tweet about it or exactly talk about right. it and that leads to the influence. Which, we, which exactly we kind right. of talk about sometimes. Yeah. You know, we've talked about these celebrities who get paid to tweet certain things and it's, it's an endorsement especially yeah. on Twitter. This is different though. So yeah, this, is, this is the average Joe yeah. having all of this power how do you use that for good? Well, just think, think of the difference here. Think of if you're a company or a brand, if you uh, have an advertisement and say, oh, my sandwich is so good, yep. okay? And then you have someone in the store actually eating the sandwich, taking pictures of the sandwich, saying, this is delicious, everyone really ought to try that. So it's, it's a power, I mean, now you don't have to be a celebrity, a superstar, a politician, a supermodel to have influence but on the But why does web. it matter if you're not one of those people? I mean, why does it matter to you? What's the benefit to the, to the person besides free stuff? Well, you're being rewarded really for your influence. I mean, who's to say, the world expert in Porsche cars is in an 18-year-old person in Owensboro, Kentucky. Yeah. Now that can be known. Now you can, uh, you can have visibility and be rewarded for that. It's, very, it's a very exciting time. No, that, that was exactly my take on it. That was because you, you tell a story about if a friend tells you something, you're more likely to pay attention to what your friend has to say about it. Oh, that's As right. As opposed to somebody who's famous. I mean, mm -hmm. so, nor I hate saying normal everyday people, but they really can have a lot of influence as they move around in the world. Well, in the book, I, I, I call this the, the era of the citizen influencer, where really, I mean, this word of mouth influence is so powerful. And it's something that businesses and marketers have tried to find for centuries, really, ever since that there, there was a marketplace and where now, people to. There it is. We have to cut you off for the okay. computer world, but Mark, thanks for being with us. Oh.